Ever wished you could transform your old blurry or low-resolution videos into crystal-clear masterpieces without spending hours on complex editing software? Imagine turning pixelated dull footage into something that looks like it was shot in full HD or even 4K, smooth, sharp, and professionally enhanced. In today's fast-paced world, quality visuals can make all the difference whether you're a creator, a marketer, or simply someone who loves perfect visuals. So without further ado, let's dive in. Open your browser and search for Nero AI Video Upscaler. Click on the first search result or simply use the link provided in the description. Nero AI is a smart media platform that enhances your photos and videos with artificial intelligence, fast and with professional grade quality. The Nero AI Video Upscaler 2026 can upscale low resolution videos up to 4K, making them sharper, smoother and more stable perfect for creators and marketers alike. It comes with six different AI upscaling models designed for various types of videos, and we'll be testing them all practically in this video. Click the Get It button to start the download. It's only around 8 MB in size and runs smoothly, even on systems with 8 GB of RAM. Once the download is complete, go ahead and install it. The installation is extremely simple, and there's even a guide video available for assistance. I've already installed it, so I'll open it directly. The interface is clean and straightforward, featuring two main options, start recording and import videos. I'll import this sample video here. It's clearly of very low quality. Before proceeding, I recommend clicking on settings and enabling hardware acceleration. Select your installed graphics card from the list to make rendering faster and smoother. Next is the adjustments tab, where you can tweak your video's colors, adjust brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness, temperature, and tint. If you're not satisfied with your adjustments, simply click the reset button to revert everything back to default. Now comes the upscale options section, where you can define your video type and select the desired upscale level. There's also a presets option available if you prefer ready-made settings instead of configuring everything manually. After that, it's time to choose your AI model. As mentioned earlier, there are six different models available. The first one is fast, which upscales quickly and is perfect for time-sensitive projects. The second is animation, recommended for animation and AI-generated content. The third is realistic, which enhances actual video footage to make it look natural and true to life. The fourth is versatile, offering slightly less sharpness but a more balanced result overall. The fifth is face enhancement, designed specifically for improving facial details. And lastly, there's restoration, which revives old or low quality footage by recovering fine textures and restoring clarity. For now, I'll select the realistic model. Next, choose the output resolution. As you can see, our original footage is quite low quality, so I'll set it to 1080p full HD. Then select the desired FPS. I'll go with 60 FPS for smoother playback. You can enable or disable, AI frame interpolation as needed. There's also a scene detection feature. If your video includes multiple cuts or scenes, keep this option on so the AI can recognize transitions and avoid generating unnecessary frames. You can even add AI slow motion to your video, but since mine is already in slow motion, I'll leave it set to none. There's also audio post-processing, which is disabled here because this sample video doesn't include sound. At the bottom, you'll find export options, where you can set parameters like bitrate, or select your acceleration device such as your graphics card. I'll leave everything at default for now. Below that is the output folder, where the enhanced video will automatically appear once processing is complete. Before upscaling, you can preview three seconds of your enhanced video by clicking the preview button. Once clicked, the video processing begins and you can monitor progress from the timeline below. After the preview is generated, I'll drag the comparison slider to the left to see the results. And as you can see, the improvement is dramatic. Our low-quality footage has now been enhanced to full HD, sharper, clearer, and much more vibrant. You can also view the full-screen preview or use the comparison view to check before and after results side-by-side. Side. When zooming in, notice how the tool enhances details cleanly without introducing distortion or artificial sharpness. If you want to enhance only a specific part of your video, you can easily split the clip, and only the selected portion will be enhanced. Since my video is already quite short, I'll upscale the entire clip. Now I'll click Upscale Now, and the enhancement process begins. This tool is impressively fast, completing the upscale in very little time. Once the process finishes, click the folder icon to open your output location. And here's the final result. The improvement is remarkable. Details pop beautifully, 
colors look more natural, and the video appears as if it was originally shot in full HD. There's no fake or over-processed feeling, just clean, professional enhancement. Let's test it on another clip. I'll upload a new video. This one's also low quality, with dim lighting and a dark background. The question is, can it handle this footage well or will it struggle? This time, I'll choose the face enhancement model and set the resolution to 2K. I'll keep the rest of the settings unchanged and click upscale now. Since this one is being upscaled to 2K, it may take a bit longer, so let's wait. Once complete, let's check the result. And yes, it did it. Despite the low light conditions, the video has been cleanly and crisply enhanced to 2K. Details are clearer, colors remain natural, and the noise control prevents any overprocessed look. There's also an animation model designed specifically for anime or AI-generated videos. I've uploaded an anime clip that's quite low in quality, so let's see how it performs here. To save time, I'll split the video into a shorter segment, then select animation from the AI models list. The original footage is very poor in quality, but let's upscale it to 1080p. I'll set the FPS to 30. After processing, the results are stunning. The anime video looks naturally enhanced, with no artificial or patchy effects. Now I've uploaded another video that features a rapidly moving car being tracked by the camera, so there's a lot of motion. I'll select the realistic model again and keep the resolution at 1080p. Since the clip contains fast movement, I'll set the FPS to 60 FPS for a smoother playback. After upscaling, the results speak for themselves. Even with fast moving car shots, the tool maintains clean edges and stable details. The 60 FPS output feels buttery smooth and perfectly natural without any over-processing. All right, let's talk about the pricing. You can get this tool for $85 per year, which is quite reasonable considering the quality it delivers. Plus, there's a seven-day free trial if you want to test it before purchasing. The download link is available in the description. Give it a try yourself and breathe new life into your videos. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more such useful tutorials.